and today I'm just going to be showing you a, a short video on how to dismantle a Smith & Wesson FW40F. Now this uh, it's a CO2 pistol so it might work for all the CO2 pistols and I'll show that by accident before the trap. Uh, now uh, first of all take your mag out so you don't do what I just done there now. Uh, easiest way to first get into your gun this pistol on its own what you do to get the slide off you pull this down which is this little bit there a bit there you pull them little levers down push it back and then bring it forward and it'll slide off like that and it comes off and that reveals uh, takes your gun in half basically <coughs> now uh, to get at the barrel, take take off this little spring. If, if your gun's blow back, uh, take off this spring, which allows it to blow back. For uh, you know, when it blows back, that allows it to return. That spring allows it to return back. Uh, take uh, this little bit off. This is where your hot rubber is. Is inside here. Take this off. Just push it forward. And slide it back and out. Little silver slide, it's your barrel uh, barrel casing. Then pull that separate from the barrel. That's your barrel there. As you can see, it's how the hub up affects it. You might see that there's a slight uh, tilt in that there, the, the actual barrel can tilt it upwards. Uh, that's when your hop up is adjusted here. Uh, your hop up will that's why your hop up affects how much your pelt goes up or down. Uh, you can uh, pull that ball out if you want and take it out of the hop rubber, which I think I'll do now. So just it'll go very easy to want to rip your hop rubber. That's your hop rubber is in there basically. If you have a look in, you can see you'll see your hop rubber all around the, the sides. Now your ball is a uh, this little bit here. Make sure when you put your ball back in that uh, this little curved bit, the little U shape here is facing downwards towards where your uh, allen key hole is for adjusting your hob up like this, if, you're, if you can see that just make it sure it goes in and it will just fit in like that don't push in too far just have a uh, visual look down the barrel on this end and just see if it's, uh, there's no hob rubber sticking out or anything and you should be good to go now, in here, there's not much you can touch in here to be honest. Uh, basically, when you cut the gun, this here, uh, the slide will pull that little down. That's your hammer. That uh, when you pull the trigger, it will go up and it'll hit the back back end of the magazine and release your gas out there, which will be pushed down the barrel. There's nowhere else to go. It'll just be pushed down the barrel, push the pellet out with it. Because the, the slide here, this part, it pushes the pellet out like that kind of effect there. The gas goes into this little chamber here and fills up in there, pressurizes, blows the gas out there. The whole thing moves here like this. That there will move. And that pushes your pellet and your gas out into the barrel by the front of the gun. So uh, put it back together just reverse the process. Uh, well, if you want to adjust your hop up, I'll show you that in a little minute. Uh, well, I'm halfway through. Okay, get your outer barrel and your inner barrel. Slide your inner barrel inside there. Make sure it's the right way around. Slide in nicely. Now, put, it, put the outer, outer barrel through there. And back in place. I'll just slot in like that. Get your spring. Your turn spring, as I like to call it. Not sure what the real name is, but anyway. Slide it in, it'll just sit there. It is loose, but it will work with this gun anyway. So, to adjust your hop up, uh, this is the top slide, it's fully, fully back together. Uh, you want to get your Allen key that comes with the gun. And put it in there. You'll be able to adjust the hop rubber. Your hop up. In there, just to your liking. Okay, so 
I put the slide back on, slide it along this little uh, reel there, little guide, and just make sure they all fit up. And here too. And once you get to your little hammer, just simply cock it back as you would when the gun was fully functional. There it is. Mag in. I thought it is working. Well, uh, this is Craig from yourself, Korean. This is a review on the CO2 Smith & Wesson SW4AF, uh, otherwise known as a Sigma. Uh, if, if you have any questions about the gun or any questions about leaks or how to fix any parts on it, just uh, comment on the video and hopefully I can uh, respond to your, your problems. Thank you for watching. Bye.